were aware of this from yesterday evening. You would know that yesterday evening the teachers um, met and they voted on whether or not to accept the government proposal for the 10% salary cut. And uh, based on what we were informed that the teachers rejected the proposal and decided that they were going to continue their industrial action. And uh, one of such activity was to have the road blockages this morning. We will continue to see how we can tiptoe or exercise restraint um, with these um, demonstrations. I, I, I will say that it is rather frustrating because at the end of the day, whatever it is that they are doing with these road blockages, it is creating significant inconvenience to the broader public. People who have to get to work by a certain time, people who need to go to the airport, people who need to go to the hospital. So it is causing in inconvenience to people and they, 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 the citizenry are getting frustrated with it as well. And so I would hope that the teachers are going to rethink this position. It is counterproductive and uh, it is getting people frustrated and eventually we will have to um, not be too hands off and uh, do what needs to be done to ensure that the highways are clear. Um, may I also remind the teachers that blocking the highway is an offence. It is obstructing the free flow of traffic and uh, while yes we have been very patient and we have exercised restraint, when the public get too frustrated then we will have to ensure that something is done to allow traffic to flow and get people to where they need to get within a reasonable time.